Previously on Great Moments in Wine History. Bubbles! Champagne now sparkled, but it remained sticky sweet and full of kind of gross yeast sediment. Enter Madame Clicquot. Widowed at 27, which left her in full control of her expired husband's business empire, she would develop the game-changing Method Champenoise. Bottles are placed at a steep angle on a riddling rack, given a slight shake and turn every day, and eventually disgorged, launching the accumulated sediment from the neck of the bottle and from champagne forever. Still, most of it was made sweet, but tastes were changing. As mastery of bubbles increased, the amount of sugar artificially added decreased. Critics initially saw this dry wine as brute-like, but before long, most champagne was being made brute. In the early 20th century, when the Appalachian system rolled around, champagne was on the forefront to protect the valuable brand that their name had become. In fact, the Treaty of Versailles itself has a clause stating that German sparkling houses had to stop marketing themselves as champagne. To this day, champagne maintains a singular position in popular culture and remains the gold standard for bubbly.